Today's all about high impact, low cost ways for you guys to personalize your space, have fun doing it. And not a lot of money. Yes, and, and not a lot of time. User friendly. Everybody's busy. Right. You've got seven trillion things going on. I do. Exactly. Yay. So we're going to make over dying a rug <laughs> very simple for you today. Um, one thing that I'm currently obsessed with, especially with our kids, is kind of finding ways to introduce sophisticated things, but in playful ways. Right. And I love this idea of taking old rugs that you may have around your home, like they get a little tattered, they've got a couple experiences mm -hmm. on them. Wet the entire rug, get it nice and wet, and then you take whatever color of your choice. In this case, I've chosen Dusty Rose, which happens to be my daughter Poppy's favorite color. Go like okay. this, spray it out. You can kind of control how much you want to put on the rug, how much you don't. You let it dry out, and then you've got... This looks really pretty. It's fun. It's beautiful. It's playful. It's a really easy way for you guys to take things that you have that you don't want to go spend a lot of money, and you can layer it on. Keep going. When you can't get the stain out, cover it up. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect for red wine. One of my absolute favorite things to do, especially if you're renting or if you don't want to spend a lot of money with paint, is to add details and architecture through paint. Okay. So, you know, um, for instance, so you can see in this oh, wow. image. Oh, look at that. This is a great archway. Not everybody wants to paint the whole room teal, but they want to kind of draw attention to some of the beautiful lines of that room. By taking a paint and a high contrast, I'm cho I've chosen a terracotta. Again, a very, not so contrasty, but... That's all I can do. Um, and the idea is you can really draw attention to a room and add some architecture through paint. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Look it. I've done it for a ton of projects. You know, even this wall, if you wanted to add architecture, you paint up to here, leave the, uh, the rest of the wall in a contrasting color. It's such a fun and inexpensive way to improve a room and make it look far more interesting and rich. Yeah, it's about yeah. personalization. It's about empowering people to really make a space feel like theirs. And these are ways that you can do that. And it doesn't draws your eye, you yeah, know? It exactly. really does. Um, thanks, guys. This I love. Never met a basket I didn't love. No, I, yeah. I am the same. I'm a sucker for anything organic in a room. Me too. And the juxtaposition of that. Exactly. With modern furniture or country looks, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I just think it's so... It's, it's timeless, and I think what's really interesting, everybody's seen this trick. They're like, oh, a basket light. This is crazy. But the truth is, it's really impactful, and it's a really easy way for you to constantly curate your space. Um, I've done it with salad bowls. I've done it with random different pieces of um, pottery or ceramics. You macrame, can really, too. I've seen a lot of macrame lamps. You can buy these inexpensive light kits at any hardware store. Um, you grab, this is a great basket that we've selected. Um, the idea is, theoretically, you take the drill... What could go wrong? You drill through. <laughs> and then I you basically know. feed the cord oh, through. I'm trying to separate this. No, 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 I got oh, you. Cool. I've got cool. you. This oh, is so much easier than pottery. So look at how look cute at that, that is. And here's the finish. I love these. They really are beautiful. You know what? They're beautiful. It's And quick, they're affordable. And they're affordable.